Here's a quick message to single and married people about the math of relationships. When it comes to your lifetime partner, you want to choose someone who will add value to your life, someone who will make you both worth much more together than you are as single individuals. So, just like in math, where 1 plus 1 equals 2 and 1 minus 1 equals 0, when you get married to someone who is a plus in your life, you will both double your individual values at the point of marriage. You will be worth much more together, achieve much more together than you could ever do alone. The opposite is also true. When you marry someone who is a minus, you will both cancel each other out at the point of marriage. As time goes by, you will feel like you're being held back. You will feel unproductive. Yes, you will pretty much feel like a zero. So here's a thought. If you're single, how can you identify and choose someone who will add value to your life and not reduce you to a zero? And if you're married, how can you make sure that you are a plus in your partner's life and not a minus? Again, like in math, look for the signs. The sign before a number determines its value, if it's a plus or a minus. You must look for the signs in the person's character that determine his or her value. Things like faith, morals, background, principles, character, goals, ambitions, compatibility, family, spirit, commitment, truthfulness, dedication, temper, and etc. These are all signs that determine a person's value. Look for them, not just in the other person, but in yourself too. Because remember, on your wedding day, you can either double your value or become a zero. I hope you pass that test. Until next week, bye-bye.